Hello, my name is Ilana and I'm an astrophysicist at the University of Toronto. In this video, I'm going to help you make observations number three, six, and 12 of the lookup challenge, which are to observe the different phases of the moon. So the moon is not like the sun in that it does not emit its own light. Rather, it acts like a big mirror that reflects the light of the sun. The moon will look different depending on its position along its orbit around the Earth, since its face is not illuminated the same amount from our vantage point here on the Earth. The moon is therefore said to have phases. During the holiday season, between December 16th and January 6th, you'll be able to see several different phases of the moon. The third observation of the challenge is the first quarter moon, which occurs around December 21st. At the beginning of the night, look southwest to be able to see it. On a clear night, it will be at its highest point in the southern sky around sunset. About eight days later, on uh, December 29th, you should be able to make observation number six of the challenge, which is one of the most spectacular phases, the full moon. When it's a full moon, the moon's entire face will be illuminated. You'll be able to find the full moon in the eastern sky early in the evening, shortly after sunset. At the end of the holiday break, around January 6th, you'll be able to make uh, the 12th observation of the challenge, which is the last or third quarter moon. When the moon is in its last quarter, it rises very, very late at night, around midnight, which is way past my bedtime. However, you can see the moon while it is in this phase during the day. For that reason, I'd suggest that you make the observation early in the morning. There's no need to get up before the sun rises since you'll be able to see the moon even when the sun is in the sky, but I'd uh, make sure that you observe it just before uh, 10 a.m. so it's still high enough in the sky to see. You'll find it to the southwest. So all that being said, I encourage you to look at the moon as often as possible, since you'll see it change throughout the holidays. I wish you good luck making these observations of the first quarter moon, full moon, and lost quarter moon. And don't forget to look up. 